Today we're going to make a very easy and eye-catching nail design, frosty window. We're going to make it in glossy version and in matte one. In order to recreate it, we will need a gel polish in blue or turquoise shade. If you want to make a night frosty window, you can use dark blue gel polish. We'll also need a base coat, some icing glass, or you can use flakes, matte top coat, glossy top coat. I will show you the nail design in two variants. White gel paint. It would be better if you use a thick opaque one. Also, you'll need some glitter mixed with acrylic powder, a really old brush and a dotting tool. Let's analyze the structure of our painting. First of all, we have to choose the accent nail where we'll place our painting. For example, it can be the middle or index finger. By the way, paintings on index or thumbs are in trend now. I'm going to make my painting on a thumb. The most intensive and the biggest part of the painting will be on the borders of my nail. And the closer to the center of the nail, the more the painting fades away. In order to connect our thumb with the index nail and for them to look matching, we are going to put some painting there as well, but it will be just a little bit, just slightly covering one or two corners of the nail. If you want, you can add some painting on the ring finger, but it's optional. Cover your nail with the main color, it can be blue or turquoise. I have the one in the shade 107 from Fantasy Nails. And cure in the lamp. Cover your nail with a thin layer of a base coat and put some flakes on the nail or you can use icing glass. If you are going to use icing glass, it will add some more volume and dimension to your nail. That's why you have to put just a little bit of a base coat at this point. Cure in the lamp. Cover it with a top coat. Cure it in the lamp, and now you can see that some pieces of this icing glass are sticking out of the nail. Now I can show you what we can do with it. After you have cured it in the lamp, take your file and file off all the excess elements. Then cover with your gloss top or matte top coat if you want to cure in the lamp. Now I'm covering my nail with a glossy top coat and cure in the lamp. I'm putting a little drop of my white gel paint on a palette. Take my old brush. The older it is, the better. Put a little bit of this gel paint on my brush and start to make really chaotic movements in order to create this pattern all around my edge of the nail. It's very easy and fast. If you make the strokes more intensive, the window will look more frozen. Now we're going to take our dotting tool and begin adding some scribbles, just exactly the same as you did in your kindergarten. In order to recreate this nail design, you don't really need to have any skills in painting, it's very easy.
After we have covered all the perimeter of our nail, we're going to add some acrylic powder mixed with glitter. Then cure in the lamp. Look what we've got! I have done two variants in glossy and matte version. You can choose any you like. <laughs> 